I like your new shirt. Thanks. It's out of the National Park. Where'd you get that? Amazon. I'll have to link it. Down below. I like it. <laughs> Who are you? I am Aaron from Five to Go. Oh, I've heard about you guys. And you're you're Brian. <laughs> oh, Five to go. I am. Yeah, I am. We're also um, not from Five to Go. Well, no, we're also. Uh, Trashy folk. Trashy folk. <laughs> Trashy folk. We're going to the trash. Yep, yep. That's a throwback. Leave a comment below if you remember the first Trashy Folk episode. I know it. All right, so the way this marriage works is I hold the very, <laughs> the very heavy and oh, yeah. uh, cumbersome camera. Itty bitty camera. And Aaron just totes trash. It's, 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 it's not that heavy. It's a, it's a box in a bag. <laughs> so the bag is uh, from Tara's birthday, which was yesterday. Yes, she turned 12 yesterday. 12, 12 years old. Good. That's filled with trash. Good Lord. She's 12. We have a 12 year old. We didn't, no. Huh? We don't have a 12 year old. We don't have a 12 year old. No. We Who's can't be old enough to have a 12 year old. Whose kid is that? What? I don't know. She looks like all the other ones though. Man. <laughs> so, but more importantly than Tara turning 12, uh, someone's birthday is a week from today. <gasps> I'm going to be 40 in a week. Aaron's going to be 40. But I don't have anything planned. Uh huh. So. Better have something planned. I've been telling be... you to have something planned for a year. <laughs> it's, it's just going to be a real, real quiet, you know, stay at home. We'll just, you know, we'll just have some toast, maybe. With butter, maybe? No, no butter. That's okay. that's too much. That's that's crossing the line. <laughs> I'm so excited. Yeah, so so Aaron's birthday's next weekend. Excuse me one second. We are going to fulfill our role as trashy trashy folk. Trashy folk. There we go. All right. I love being in a campground where the uh, dumpsters are so close. Let's switch hands. Oh. Not switching hands? We are switching hands. <laughs> Honey, we've done this 240 something times. <laughs> uh, so then a uh, week after Aaron's birthday is Ben's. And then the week after that is mine. Yep. Poor little Brooke Aww. is uh, all the way in August. And, Her birthday's um, the week before my dad's though. So they kind yeah. of share a birthday week. What's wrong? Is it too bright out here? It's too bright. Is that better? Cool um, mode initiated? <laughs> mar marginally better. <laughs> all right. So, uh, today's episode, what are we actually talking about? Today, we are going to show you some of the creature comforts. Yeah, just random, um, hi, I can see myself in your face. Oh, hi. Uh, just random uh, gear or tips or... Stuff that we haven't covered before. Yeah, yeah. but small stuff, you know. Okay. Stuff that doesn't take an entire episode to explain. Alrighty. On its own. So, the first thing I want to talk about since we're outside is the cameras we use. We do have cameras. So, we have a couple cameras from a company called Rio Link. Links down below. And uh, the first one we have here is, uh, let me get up on the steps. Actually, let me show you from here first. So, it's right there. It's stuck to the window. We'll talk about that in a second. Uh, and it just is a little uh, battery powered uh, thing that has night vision and motion sensing and all that. And um, it is actually mounted with a magnet. It's actually uh, kind of like a little half sphere that it snaps onto so you can aim it, you know, wherever you want it to be. Uh, it's weatherproof. And um, this actually, this mount has screw holes, but I'm not a fan of putting screws into things, like into sidewalls. So what I did is I used outdoor Velcro, which is like a plastic, all plastic Velcro with really heavy duty adhesive to stick it to the window here. And uh, I can't take that off for you because I actually have to like slide a butter knife in between just to disengage it. So on moving days, I just pop it off, and when we get set up, I put it back on, and uh, and that's it. The other camera is in here. So the one outside is kind of a dumb camera. It just sits there, and it doesn't aim any differently. This one here is, I uh, can't remember the model name, uh, but I can actually, in the app, control that and spin it around and aim it at things and zoom it. Actually, I think it's called the Zoom. Uh, because it does have a, a little bit of digital zoom so I can move it around and like find where the dog is laying and zoom in on him and see how he's doing. Okay, so that's it for the cameras. Let's see what Aaron has that's new. In one of the previous videos, we talked about how we were going to be replacing the cream colored rugs that ah, I yes. picked out thinking, I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> um, this time... They matched. They matched the they counter. They matched. They were exactly they what I was looking blue, for. They had blue. They matched the curtains. That's what you... You were it, happy with them. I was very happy with them until... Un until a year later. <laughs> a year later. And uh, yeah, they were filthy. Um, so I decided to get different kind of rugs. Yeah, these are very different. So there's two of them here. Yeah. And they're four by six and six, seven. Six foot seven, yeah. Yeah. So and that one, that one's like the length of the dinette. Um... So that goes another 
foot and change farther forward. Right. Yeah. So it doesn't, and it, the pattern's so busy that it doesn't show the dirt as quickly. Right. But I'm going to steal the camera from Yeah, go you for it. Because I'm going to get on the floor. So the pile on this is like non-existent. So like, <laughs> you see this? There's like, there's no pile, but it's really, really soft. It's not a macro camera, sweetheart. Well, it's fine. <laughs> Are you enjoying being on the floor okay, with me? The from no, but then <laughs> underneath, it's like all of this is like super, super grippy. It's also really dirty. Good lord. I wasn't showing Who that. Put that down? It's really, really grippy. And so these aren't like moving all over the place either. So, as a demonstration, uh, one of the struggles we had with the other ones, even after putting like the no slip stuff underneath them, they still slipped around because like the edges were really thick, I think. Mm -hmm. So the edges were on the ground and the grippy stuff was inside, so they'd slide no matter what. They feel a lot different though. That's what I was trying to yeah. show. They're like a, they don't have a pile to them. They're like yeah. smoothish, but it's really soft. Yeah, when I took them out of the box, I felt, I was like, is this a wetsuit? Like, what is this? <laughs> yeah, it's very interesting, but it's still, yeah. it feels really good on your feet. These are considered kitchen rugs specifically, okay. not like just an area rug. They're specifically kitchen rugs. And so, so are they like spill proof? Or um, let's not test that. I don't. I don't want to, but it's inevitable. I know. I think. <laughs> I. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. We'll keep yeah. it posted. I mean, they are. Nothing's think, been spilled on I them. think the label said 100% polyester, so I wonder if stuff would just beat up on it or something. Maybe we'll try it with water later. Maybe we won't. Maybe we won't. <laughs> okay. So next up, um, we have a large box uh, large down box. here. I didn't know where else to put it, so I just kind of slid it down here uh, behind my chair here. And what that is, is uh, that's a Magna shade. And for you guys that may not know, uh, cause I didn't know what they were until we owned a motorhome. Yeah. Uh, a Magna shade is a shade for the front window where you put magnets on the inside of the window, like up in the corners, there's diagram in there. We'll do an installation video, but uh, just real quick, you put magnets on the inside of the windshield with epoxy and then the shade goes on the outside and you just put it up with, you know, with like a little helper stick and it has magnets that snap on on the outside that can connect through the glass. So I had no, no idea how much heat came in these windshields before we owned one of these. Yeah. It is That's just, oh, it's so much heat. And where's your office? My office is right there. Right in the front. Yeah, right by the windshield. So when we don't get to choose our site, like at some campgrounds, when you roll in, they're like, just choose a site, let us know where you mm -hmm. picked. Uh, I would say most other campgrounds, like a lot of Thousand Trails, you can do that. Yeah. Most okay. other campgrounds, you they have assign you. Yep. Uh, yeah. So here in Florida, it's been warm kind of all winter. So if you are facing south, that windshield. Or west. Yeah, south or west are the worst because the windshield just gets sun in the hottest parts of the day okay. all day long. So the point of the Magna Shade is it puts the first barrier on the outside because you can't tint a windshield. All the other windows are tinted, yeah. but you can't do the windshield because you're supposed to be able to see through it to drive. Mm -hmm. So there's not a lot of heat that comes in through the side windows, but the front window, you got to do something. Yep. And I have Reflectix cut that'll fit on the inside and that works really well. When it's really hot. But then but... you can't see outside. Right. And that. Yeah. So the whole point of the Magna Shade is it's a shade on the outside, but you can kind of see through it. Yeah. And uh, you'll see in the installation video, probably in a couple weeks, but it's kind of similar, but uh, you can see less through it, I think, than this, because we have the uh, the dual, dual shades here. So it's kind of similar to this one, but on the outside. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to that. Brian um, is a big fan of not locking himself out <laughs> of the rig. Yeah. And yeah. so... That's a pain. The first thing, one of the first things he did was install these command hooks here. Yep. One, two, three, because we have two cars and rig keys. Yep. And so this way we don't lock ourselves out. So yeah, just whenever I go out, um, actually the rig key's not down there because nope, it's in not. my pocket. So whenever I go out for the first time in a day, those are my keys. I just grab them, put them in my pocket, and then I'm good to go and I will not get locked out. Because yep. the trick with these, let me show you what we're talking about here. And uh, this is another time for me to talk about the, or to lament not having RV lock, the yeah. keyless locks, because they don't make them in this size yet. Uh, there's rumors that they will eventually, but who knows? Uh, so the issue here is if you don't have the keys, 
um, there's two different locks, different keys for the top and bottom. The top one does the deadbolt, which goes right there. So you can't hit that one and then close the door because the deadbolt will keep it from closing. But the problem is this one. So you can actually lock that and then close the door. And then with it unlocked, you see the handle. When I do the outside handle, how it goes up all the way and does all the actuation on the inside. With that one down, it stops that handle right there. So you can actually, you know, bump this accidentally and then close the door and then you're locked out. Or that door can be closed and if there are kids inside, they can mess with those and then you're locked out. I really recommend not going outside without your RV keys. And uh, what else do we want to talk about in here? We received a package the other day. Oh, yeah. we did. Yeah, it was a big heavy package. Yeah. Um, and the from was Hughes Autoformers. Uh, we didn't order this. No. Uh, they haven't sent us an email. Um, but this kind of thing sort of happens. Sometimes. Yeah, when you have a YouTube channel, it just happens. It's, it's weird. It is. It's, it's weird. nice. Yeah, well, it's cool. It's definitely nice. It's definitely cool, but it's weird. So, um, not a sponsor. And um, we haven't talked to them at all. But apparently now, we have a, um, a Hughes Autoformers Power Watchdog 50 amp with the Bluetooth and all that. So the reason I haven't been using one of these is because we have built-in surge protection. Yeah. Um, it is them actually with that, don't they? Um, newer ones, yeah. So up in here we have a power control system that I can use to cycle through and see what's running. And then here I can see the line status. So if anything's wrong with our connection, it'll say stuff in here. Uh, it'll throw fault codes. It'll say you know neutral and ground switch stuff like that. And that little system has a box down in the bay um, where when I plug into a thing and I turn the breaker on, it's like chunk, chunk, and it is engaged. Like it has a circuit breaker down there for any power surges. I haven't been using one of these like we had, uh, like with a travel trailer, we had one of these because there was no built-in protection. So we have it now. I'm going to test it and see how it works, check out the Bluetooth and all that. And then I think we're going to give it away. Are you going right. to give it away? Yeah, I think we're going to give it away to one of our Roadrunners. Ooh, yeah. make sure you sign up to become a Roadrunner. Yeah. So, so you can get in on this, because this is not cheap. No, that's like 250, 280 bucks, somewhere in there. It's it's a lot. So yeah. we're going to we're gonna test it out. We're going to see if it's any good. Uh, we will give you guys an official review. I've only heard good things about yep. Hughes and the Power Watchdog, so I'm sure it's fine. And the people next to us and the people over there both yeah. have them. So. Yeah, when you, plug them, when you plug them in, that thing glows. Oh, so you can definitely, cool. you can see when people are using these. So anyway, so we'll review it, we'll test it out. Uh, we'll talk to Hughes and see, you know, why they sent it to us. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, then we'll do a giveaway. So if you want to be eligible for that, you're going to have to be a Roadrunner. Yep. You get extra videos, live streams, you to talk to us private like all chats, the time. yeah, stuff like that. So uh, if you want one of those, maybe look into it. Yeah. What how else do we, we got? How do they find out to be a Roadrunner? Uh, well, the URL has been here for a little while. Oh. Yeah. Isn't that fancy? Magic. Yeah. All right, so uh, two more things, and then we'll wrap it up. Uh, first, we have a Rec Pro couch to replace the horrible, awful, peeling, uncomfortable L couch that this rig came with. So then we replaced those two. Um, they uh, Rec Pro reached out to us and said they loved our redheaded children because apparently some people high up at Rec Pro are redheads. Yay! And they, they liked our video about the couch, and you guys liked it too because a lot of you guys have been ordering stuff. And uh, so they sent us captain's chairs that we installed in another video a couple months ago. Yeah. Way more comfortable. Yes. Way more comfortable. Yeah. And they look so much better. They're not they're peeling. Very pretty. They're nice. So next on the list. So now we talked to you about how this is all peeling and yep. gross and nasty and... It's going away. It's going away. We're getting a Rec Pro dinette. Yep. So we, we're keeping the table. Yeah, we're going to keep the table because it matches everything else in here. Yeah, it's the same countertop as the, uh, the other stuff in here. Yep. Um, and then we're just going to replace the benches. And those benches have flip-up storage because this drawer... Let me show this drawer. I don't think I have shown this drawer. Do you want me to do it? You're to gonna... show how it's even worse? I, I, uh, I, actually, yes. I okay. want to see if you can. Because I can barely get it open sometimes. Okay. Go for it. All right. The other one is fine. It's this one that's... Here we go. No amount of warming yourself up. Oh, oh my God. Uh-huh. Yep. Yep. You're going to pull that front panel off. Oh, no. Oh, and now it has fallen. Now it's fallen. Yep. It has failed. Uh. Okay, so... This is just wood on a metal rail. And then that's what it does. It falls off of the rail. It 
sucks. And it's, it's so, so heavy. I, it's so I promise you I was not exaggerating yeah. how hard it is to pull this no, up. No, here, you take the camera. So other than this, there's really, there's really not much heavy in here. Like we, we have a couple glass. Ugh. Oh, that's kind of catastrophic. No, it's this metal rail. It's just, it's aluminum, so it gives and it flops around. Oh, and yeah. And it, it was doing that even before we put stuff in this drawer. Like, there's really, this is plastic and splatter guards and... Yeah, there's not heavy anything. stuff in here. This is the heaviest stuff. It's I mean, just two little baking dishes. It's, what, four or five pounds, maybe? And then we've got some extra pans. And then the old camera. There's nothing heavy in here. The drawer itself is bent the rails. Heavy. So, and you also, you lose a lot of space on the sides and on the top, because we can't, it's, it's a void up to here, and we can't put anything taller than this mm -hmm. drawer. So the Rec Pro ones, it's like a, it opens from the top like a chest. Like a piano bench. Yeah. And uh, we'll be able to access and use all of the inside, because the only thing that moves is that top. Oh, and there's all sorts of, oh God, it's so bad. There's all sorts of like wood shavings and stuff you can see. If you show that rail here, it pops off and then digs in, like the metal digs into the wood. Yeah. It's just a terrible... This rig is only a 2016, so... <laughs> oh, See, oh. Up. We're excited about our new Rec Pro dinette. They are um, sending it as soon as uh. it comes back into... Whew. They are unfortunately back ordered, so we're stuck with it for another month or two. Um, but uh, we will be replacing both of those and keeping the table. Uh, the yeah. new ones do come with rails that the table can sit on, so we can still convert it to a to a bed. But uh, take a deep breath. I hate dealing with that. I hate having a drawer that is that hard to get into and out of because it makes me never want to open it. So if there's something in there that I need, I'm like, I'll come up with an alternative. Like yeah. it's just I shouldn't have to do that. So that's gonna go. I appreciate comments about how I can make that better, how I can fix that. That's not the only problem with the dinette, so it's going away. I'm really looking forward to it. Yay! Oh. The main reason for me, though, because I don't ever get in those drawers because they're so difficult, is just well, yeah. it's still peeling up here. So yeah. we're not going to try and fix it. We're going to just replace it because the, yeah. the biggest deal is that this is peeling. Yep. So. Was there something else new coming? Oh, a mattress. <gasps> We've yeah. got a new mattress on the way. We do. I have wanted to replace the mattress in the RV, like in the back room, since we got the RV because it was yeah. my like least favorite thing about this, and I've probably said it in a couple of videos. Yeah, like, it's so from the back. It's like all foam. Yeah. And we're not tiny people. I'm not a big fan of foam. And so like the foam just isn't very supportive, and it's, it's yep. it, I don't like it. So. We um, ordered a new mattress, and we're going to tell you all about it when it comes and who it's from, and yep. um, we're really excited about this really fancy mattress that's coming. And that should be here next week. Really? Yeah, five <gasps> days. <laughs> I didn't know it was going to be that soon. Yeah. It's going to be here, like, before my birthday. Okay, but if it's here after, um, it'll be right after. He okay. said five day shipping. So, okay. Yeah. I'm excited. Coming, coming from Arizona, that's all we're going to say at this point. Uh, and then tomorrow... Uh, maybe today, actually, because this video is probably going up on Sunday. It's Easter! It's Easter! So we've got some stuff there. Happy Easter! And uh, I really hope the Easter Bunny can find us. The Easter Bunny has never failed. That's true. So if you haven't seen our video from Monument Valley when the kids were itty bitty Three and we did ago. Easter. Three years ago. It's so cute. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so cute because it Ben's is. like tiny and he says like, Mesa, Butte. Butte. Beat. You say Mesa? Mesa. You say Spires? Bruce. It's so cute. You should go watch it. <laughs> um, but we did an Easter egg hunt there, and uh, on that red dirt, it looked so cool having the neon eggs. So yeah. check that out. All right, so I think that's going to be about it for this episode. So it's kind of, like I said before, it's a little scattershot. It is. It is, but there's just random things that we've been wanting to talk about. So And this is the place to do it. figured we would do it. So, okay. so that's it. Thanks for watching. And uh, we will see you guys in the next episode. Leave us some comments. Uh, let us know some of your favorite things or uh, any recommendations for replacing things or just making things more comfortable. Like that's... Absolutely. When, it, when you full time, this is your house. Yeah. And so it's really annoying to have to struggle with things. So uh, if it was, if we were just doing weekends or whatever, I, I would, would suffer through the dinette. Uh, but being in here, actually it'll be a year 
uh, in two weeks. Yeah. On April 15th is when I was down here in Florida buying the RV from Matt. Yeah. So we're coming up on a year. Okay. So it's about time to replace some of the stuff Yay! <laughs> that we've been fighting with. So we are looking forward to that. And we're looking forward to you guys to continue watching our show. Thank you. Thanks, guys. We'll see you in the next episode. Bye. Bye.